Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is your Austin Realtor, David Mercedes, coming to you from La Cima Master Plan Community here in the city of San Marcos. And we're touring this Kingston floor plan by Highland Homes. It is a single story home. It features over 2,500 square feet of interior space, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, study, entertainment room, phenomenal primary suite, and so, so much more. Starting the tour right up the front of the house, we have brick siding, gutters here at the front, as well as beautiful landscape. I'm gonna give you, oh, right there, there are two. There's an electric box right there, so just keep that in mind. And that home just sold a couple of days ago. Give you a quick 360 of the area and then we're gonna head inside. Oh, I don't know what kind of tree that is right there, but it looks beautiful. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So right here at the front of the house, we have an eight foot tall door with five glass elements and we have a keypad access, no ring camera, but there is an outlet right down over there. Step into this home, we have tall ceilings. Check out the height of these ceilings. These are probably like 12 foot tall. And we have luxury vinyl plank flooring here on this home. Now, right here at the front of the home, we have one of the secondary bedrooms and y'all, the carpet is so nice. It feels so nice on my feet. I could walk on this carpet all day long. My guess is that it has the upgraded carpet, um, carpet padding, uh, cause it's so, so nice. Oh, this would be great if you have kids. I have a, uh, how old is Neo? 18 months old. And he hits the deck all the time. And this would be great for him. Large window in this primary bedroom. I mean, primary bedroom, the secondary bedroom, as well as window shutters right in there. Now, right adjacent to this bedroom, we have a full bathroom, tile flooring, Thin granite counters, moen faucets. We have a brand new toilet and then the shower tub combo on this side. And I love the color of the tile work. Now, right outside the toilet, we have a coat closet right in here. Now, let's keep on going further down. And right here to the left, you will find the media room. Same carpet that we just saw on the previous bedroom. I won't tell you all about it, about the carpet again, but it just feels so nice. It is quite the experience. And uh, plenty of outlets, and that one right, right down there has USB-A connectors, two of them. What do we have on this side? We have the laundry room. This laundry room is as big as it needs to be to fit a washer and a dryer. And down this way, you will find the two car garage plus the tankless water heater. Garage door opener right over there as well as two recess lights on the ceiling. And the door opener is right there on the right after you open the door. Let's continue going down this way. And what do we have here? The great room. I give you a quick 360. And then we are going to go around and see this kitchen. It is beautiful. Granite counters, enough seating for, built-in seating with seating for three people right in there. You have the fridge, oven, and microwave right over here. They're both by Frigidaire. And storage right above, and more storage down there. Down this way, you will find the pantry, and also the griddle for the stove. Now, there is 
a good amount of space between the island and the counter and here in the island it is a working island granite counters as i mentioned early on the moen gooseneck this beautiful color a farm style sink and this frigider dishwasher right over there now oh not pull out trash bin okay now on this other side we have plenty of cabinet space and this five burner frigidaire stove top beautiful black backsplash four outlets that one has two usb a ports and this frigidaire hood now the drawers all have hard hardware but no soft closing just for you to know and then we have the coffee making area right over here with more cabinets and more drawers for you to use now right across from this space you will find the living room and the dining area will be right over there we have four large and tall windows here on the living room area you can as you can see down there there's two outlets tall ceilings and a ceiling fan right at the center of the living room now on the other side you will find three more large windows over by the dining area space Lots of recess lights here in the kitchen and here in the dining room area. I love the 232 pattern or 313, however you want to go about it. Now, down this way, you will find the office, office study area. And once again, this, oh, this carpet feels nice. Tall windows, two of them, they're large, they're tall, plenty of outlets and French doors right over there by the entrance. Now, before we go to the primary, <clears throat> let's go back here. And the reason that I'm taking you back here before the primary is because I want to remove my shoes so that I can feel the carpet with my bare feet. Okay, good size patio. Oh, spider web. We have a good size covered patio. No gutters here in the back or on either side. And you do have a good size backyard. Now let's head back up the steps. There are one, two, three, four, five steps between the backyard and the cover patio there's one outlet out here and i do not see a gas line i'm gonna take my sandals off because i meant it when i said that the carpet feels awesome oh it's so nice so soft at least that's my opinion tall ceilings four large windows we have the um it seems like we have an extended bedroom in here. This is a good size bedroom, tall ceilings and a large, and the ceiling fan right above over there. Let's go down this way and onto the primary bathroom. We have a rectangular garden tub, walk-in shower, and two vanities, one on either side. So you can see this one is the smaller one of the two. And this other one is the larger one of the two of them. Love the color of the cabin tree. And these ones are not self-closing. Moe and faucet right in there. Beautiful dark gray tile work in here. You also have a glass enclosed walk-in shower and then this rectangular shaped garden tub um, there's nothing preventing water from running down that way so keep in mind that that might be difficult to clean up afterwards now 
large walk-in closet here in the primary bedroom once again with this so soft of a carpet i love it i should become like a, a carpet padding salesman because i cannot stop talking about it clearly oh it's so soft it's so nice anyways what else do we have left to see on this home let's go down that way i believe we've only seen two bedrooms of the four there are on this home here we have another one of the secondary bedrooms carpet flooring tall ceilings large window with the blinds pre-installed and you also get a walk-in closet right in here Oh, it's a little spider over there. Ooh. Now I'm missing my sandals. Another secondary bedroom. Pretty much the mirror copy of the previous one which I saw. So we're not gonna be going into that closet because we know how it looks already. Now, as we take a look at this last bathroom that we have in here, let's talk about pricing real quick. Uh, average price for a home like this one sold in this community is around 210, 209. 210 is the average, 209 is the median. Median, and this home, the Kingston floor plan, is priced at 193 price per square foot. So it is well priced for a home of these characteristics. Uh, if we compare it if we compare this price per square foot to the average in the community. Uh, yeah, and that brings us to the end of the tour. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're ready to get started with your home search. Uh, all my information is down in the description down below. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you on the next tour. Cheers.